Hi, this is Eric for Ochoy. In this video, we're going to talk about working with the Octane DBs, which is a great way to share materials and Octane nodes between different Maya projects, or as a way to share your Octane nodes and materials with other Octane users online. The scene that I'm using for this uh, video is called blue underscore marble dot MA. And it consists of a sphere, a backdrop, and a custom material I created, which I named EK Blue Marble. If you take a look at Hypershade. It's a specular material with just a few procedural nodes plugged into the transmission, roughness, and bump channels of the specular material. So it's not super fancy, but it's effective for the purpose of demonstration. So to get to the Octane DB, you want to go to the Octane render shelf and click on the Octane logo right here. This will open up a window that says Octane DB. And you can see it has two tabs. One is called Local DB and the other is called Live DB. So Local DB, as you might have guessed, is where you can store your Octane nodes locally on your machine. And Live DB is where you can share materials and Octane nodes with other Octane users. So these are only available if you have an active internet connection. Let's first talk about local DB. We probably want to figure out where actually on our machine it is storing these nodes. To do that, you can go to Windows, Rendering Editors, Render Settings, and in the Octane Render tab, down here under Local DB, you'll see here is a field. You can type in the path to the directory you want to use, or you can click on this folder here, and this will open up a file browser. So if I go to the Octane DB folder, which I created earlier, you can see I have my categories in here, and this is where it's gonna store the files. Let's choose cancel on that. Now let's say I wanna create a custom category. I can click on local DB, right click on here, and choose add category, and I'll call this custom, or whatever you wanna call it, that's fine. Custom works. Now you can see here's custom. Now to actually save the material to that custom directory, uh, I, what I wanna do is, I'm gonna actually close this for the moment. Make sure we have the material open up in the attribute editor to the material tab, and then go down here towards the bottom, you'll see a button called store to Octane DB. If I click on this, it will open up a little uh, dialog window and I want to set my location to local DB. And let's actually, under category, I can browse. And this will open up this window. Let me choose custom. I'll choose OK. Let's give it a name. I'm going to call it DK Blue Marble. And we'll call it, we'll just, we'll just say specular material with marble appearance. Now, if we want to create a thumbnail, I can choose render and this will create a little thumbnail. If I let this render for a few seconds, I can change the samples and I'll say, okay. And then I can choose, okay and this will store it locally. Let's go into the Octane DB. I'll click on this, and under Custom, you can see there is EK Blue Marble. Let's say we want to actually apply this to an object in our scene. Let's create a quick object here. Create a polygon torus. I'm going to make sure I have the object selected. Then I'll right click over this material and choose import. And it applies to the selected object. So it's pretty simple to use. So let's talk about working with live DB. Uh, I'm going to close this just to make sure it's refreshed and open it again. And let's go over to the live DB tab. And I'm going to expand materials. Let's say, let's take a look at organic. I'm going to expand wood. And you can see there's a lot of different wood shaders in here. Some really cool stuff. All created by some of our wonderful users. So I'm going to select this backdrop surface right here. 
and then right click over a material and choose import. And it'll probably take a few seconds to actually download, including all the textures. And then we can see now it's applied in the scene. Let's open up uh, Hypershade here. And let's bring over Hypershade. I'm going to select on this material and graph the input and output connections. And you can see there are a few nodes in here. It's a nice glossy material. They also include image textures, which have been downloaded to the source images folder of the current project. And of course, if you want to save a material to the live DB, again, what you'll want to do is get to the material tab and click on the store to Octane DB button. Let's bring this over. And under location, let's choose live DB. We can choose a category. So we could choose non-organic glass, for example. And let's call this EK Blue Marble. I like to put my initials on it since that makes it easier to ensure that it has a unique name. Then let's do a description. We'll just call this a basic procedural glass marble. You can also put your information down here. So I'll put in Eric Keller. And we can leave we can leave copyright blank right now, but you could put in copyright information if you want to. And now I'm going to choose OK. Let's see if we can find it. I put it in non-organic under glass. And here it is, EK Blue Marble. So the thumbnail for your uploaded material may not appear right away. It has to be generated, so you may see an X here instead of the thumbnail. But as you can see, there's a lot of thumbnails for these other materials. So that's how you work with the Octane DB. It's a great way, as I mentioned before, to share materials between scenes and also with other Octane users.